if you want to see how I accomplish this, then just keep on watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that great things, and be a part of Team Rebs because you know, Team Rebs, we the littest fam out here. All right, guys. Other than that, I'll see you guys at the end. I'm gonna get get started and dip right in. I'm just gonna take my concealer. So once we have the concealer, then we're gonna go ahead and just prime our eyes. I am going to take a Sephora brush and I'm going to dip into my Beauty Killer palette and use China White. I literally have like a bump right here. You guys probably can't see it, but I ran into the door today trying to save my life. I'm going to take Courtney and I'm gonna apply that into my transition. So I'm just gonna place this into the transition and this I'm gonna bring this higher up so I'm arching my brow so it reveals that like nice space Courtney right there different brush same style um, and I'm going to dip into I'm deciding whether I go with fetish or confessions I'm going to go with confession is from the beauty killer palette i'm just gonna swirl it and apply that right below courtney this was the one that i went with courtney and then just blend courtney and confessions together we should have something like this. Don't worry about this stuff right here because that we're going to clean up. As long as our edges are clean, that's all that matters. Fetish is from the Androgyny palette. It's this rustic red. So I'm going to go with this and place that. I don't know. I kind of want to do like a halo eye and put this in here and then have frosting like in the middle. I'm just going to be placing the fetish on the outer corner because I'm still deciding on what I want to do. I should have I should have sat down with a film idea. I have fetish on my nose and I just want to clean it off so bad. Yeah, why not go for it? All right, so we're going to place fetish, the beginning and outer portions. I'm going to get the brush that Confessions was on and just blending fetish together. Oh, look at that. And just connect the top of it. Then I'm gonna take just a regular flat brush. We're gonna take Rich Bitch from the Beauty Killer. And we're placing that in the middle. We're gonna lightly tap onto fetish. We're gonna do that on this side lightly go into fetish i'm actually really liking this just a regular just a regular brush and go in with princess from the beauty killer and i'm placing that onto the inner corner for that inner corner va va boom now i'm going to grab into my dip brow the pomade and then i'm putting this on my brow And once we get to the front of the brown and add little hairs. So now we're gonna do the other brow. Then you can just carve them out with concealer. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but you know, it's Valentine's Day, so we wanna be extra. I don't directly go in on the concealer, I take a little bit. And then and I just move it down because I don't want to pick up too much concealer here and have that straight line. Especially if we're going down here and this is where we have the eyeshadow. And think of concealer as like a little mini eraser. Then we're going to go in with our first brush, which was Courtney. And then in case it wiped a little of that away we're just gonna blend that I'm gonna use my MAC concealer because I have to do color corrector 
under here because I have bags because I didn't really get the best sleep. And since it's Valentine's Day, we gotta look pretty. So this is the dual ended side. One is yellow, one is peach. So I just go like that. This is probably a little too much, but you know. Oh well. I'm bringing this under my eye, like so. So dabbing every single one and then going. under the eye this is the expert face brush from real techniques i literally use this all the time so i'm going to spray this with setting spray this is the master fix by maybelline i don't like it so i'm trying to get rid of it whatever concealer is there and i just brush it like that to the side and then since i brushed it this way i don't want to have that brush stroke so then you just cool down my nails in the last year have been long and I cut them short and it's so weird. Like I that's why I'm like going like this and I'm so used to hearing them like Yeah guys know what I mean. Peaches and cream. <laughs> so now we're gonna take the Kat Von D shade and light palette. I automatically go ahead and set this. So I take the first two shades. I would tell you the shade names, but it's not on the bottom. That's how much I use it. Boom. Looks like I slept when I really did it. And this is the moment <laughs> of realization of how I just made the biggest mistake of my life. Ready? You know, I'm so used to just putting on concealer and not putting on any foundation that I immediately set it. But since we're doing full glam... I have to put foundation on. I made a mistake. Story of my life. It's all right. It's all right. We're gonna we're gonna test it out. We're gonna put foundation on. Just gonna see, we will see, right? Drink some water for my mistake. You see this redness right here? Let me tell you that story. I'm going to go in with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation in Y315. Oh, that hurt. That hurt so much. I woke up and I took my dog out. And then after I took him out, I went to the downstairs bathroom because I was like, oh, why not, right? I'm down here. Spray it on my face and then just blend the whole foundation in there. I went into the bathroom and I like stepped on the rug. So I stepped on the rug and like my entire foot was soaked. So it was like my, apparently my entire bathroom floor was completely like drenched. It's not looking, it's not looking too bad. It's not looking bad at all. Anyways, I'm sorry. On to the story. I realized it was drenched, but of course I was like, whatever. <laughs> I was tired. Like I had just woken up. I was like, whatever. I took another one and I went flying. So flying and my, I was concerned about like my broken ankle since obviously it's not fully healed and I'm not trying to break it. So tell me how after I went flying, I tried to catch myself. So I put my hands on like the door. I, as I put my hand there, like the movement of me trying to like catch myself my head completely slammed into the wood frame so now this entire section hurts so much and even putting the slightest pressure with my brush right now is killing me like it hurts so much we're just gonna set our entire face so what i'm setting my entire face is is gonna be the studio fix plus swirling it on my brush insert horrible mistake here <laughs> Again, I told you guys this was gonna be a fail for me. <laughs> it's okay, we're gonna fix this. We're gonna fix this. Teachable moment. The BH Cosmetics Contour and Blush 2, because apparently there's one. I'm gonna grab this lighter shade and mix it with the translucent. Literally going ham on it to salvage this 
All right, so now we're just gonna set our face after we avoided that tragedy. I'm gonna contour with the middle color. I'm gonna take that back and forth. We're gonna take this a little bit on the forehead right into right from the hairline love this bronzer clearly <laughs> i've hit pan on this this is remel's natural bronzer in 020 and i like it because it has a little bit of shimmers then i'm going to take my blush brush this is just from bh cosmetic i'm gonna go into this is milani and romantic rose and then just slightly go on the apples and then move it back And which highlight should I use? I am going to go with Ice Cold from Jeffree Star. I don't have the star anymore. That's how much this has been abused. See how blinding it is? Now that our face is done, I am going to go in and do liner. This, I found this. I want to test this out. I've never used this. This is the Blackest Black Stiletto Ultimate Precision Liquid Liner by Maybelline. And see if I like it, if it's worth me buying it. Okay, so it's a felt tip. Thinking that the line was going to be smaller. I'm thinking that the tip was going to be smaller. It isn't. I'm going to do the other one before I'll let you know how I feel about this one. So here are my final thoughts on the eyeliner. So as I was using, I thought everything was going well. But then when I got towards the wing and I tried to match it up with my other eye, it started taking the eyeliner off. So it didn't work well when I was layering it. And that was very unfortunate only because I was in a time crunch. I was going out that night. And, you know, like it would have just been easier for me to grab another eyeliner brush. But for the purpose of the video, I really want to use it. So that's the reason why this was a flop. Am I going to continue using this? Yes. Am I going to reach it every day? no will i buy it again no so my final thoughts it was actually disappointing but you know you live and you learn I'm going to put on mascara i'm going to use my giorgio armani in my mark jacobs pen and i'm tight lining it i'm gonna grab courtney and just place that on to the lower lash line I'm going to bring a little bit of fetish onto the outer corner. So I'm just following the steps that I did from the top onto the lower lash line at this point. So the lip, I'm going to do have two color options. We're going to grab Noble from Kat Von D's Studded Lip Collection. This lip option, you go nice and nude, nice and safe. If you want to put a little gloss on it, you just grab any gloss, clear gloss. Put it over up top, but I like to go big, go home, and that's why I like bold looks. So me personally, I would put like a dark, dark burgundy. So I'm gonna take Wool Smells by Kat Von D. This is the final look. Now I'm gonna get changed, do my hair, and I'll be back at the end of today's video. I hope you guys like this makeup tutorial and comment down below any new ideas you guys want to see jackie come say hi get in here hi hey, hey. this is girls lit. night girls yes, night we about to get lit so this is the end yeah that's, that's the end. end that's it bye, bye.